Hello everyone, this is Shell Black, Salesforce MVP and president of shellblack.com. And with me today is John Lankis, co-founder of GPS Dashboard. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing real well. How about you, Shell? Doing good. Can you take a, just a minute and introduce yourself and a little bit about your company? Sure, again, my name is John Lankis. I'm the co-founder of GPS Dashboard. And what we did um, starting about three years ago is we developed an app for salesforce.com called Check-In. And the new, unique thing about Check-In is that it, it fully integrates location into Salesforce. And by that I mean um, when a rep is out in the field and calling on an account, we add a button to the account that is Check-In, another one is Check-Out. And when they press the Check-In button, we go out and locate the device that they're using and attach that to the record. So there's documentation of the rep's performance and also reports and maps that the uh, management can take a look at to help optimize uh, the reps uh, activities in the field. That's great. What, do you, what would you say would be the secret sauce of your application? It really is location, location, location. Um, we use a number of different uh, location technologies including GPS, assisted GPS, uh, cell site triangulation and more so that we're able to get a location um, in virtually every case and with that location, um, the reps can validate that they're you know, on the job doing their work, they're performing in the field, and then management can see you know, number of stops they're making, the sequence of stops, and then they can do some best practices kind of testing between the top performing reps and other reps to see just exactly how they operate in the field and how they can optimize uh, the rest of the field operations. That's great. Now, now, even though you said it was a couple of clicks, they're actually gathering quite a lot of information inside Salesforce. Are, are people using this for analytics? Yeah, so once we have the data, um, we use it for a lot of different things. One is we can kind of look at uh, previous locations to do some analysis, or we have a location analytics capability. And the way that works is you decide who you want to do an analysis on. A rep in the field, a period of time, a couple of reps, you know, it's very flexible. And what happens is you pick those periods and you search on those particular um, reps that you want to analyze. It will go out and find all of their check-ins for that period and then display it on a map so that you can see graphically, you know, the stops they made, the sequence of stops they made, the distance between stops, all that kind of information you can analyze. That's great. So with Salesforce One, I know with this summer 14 release, they were doing some enhancements. And I think we talked about earlier that now you're able to use your check-in and check-out feature on the event record? Exactly, so this is really pretty exciting because we have a number of customers and prospects who want to do just that. So the scenario is this, uh, for any customer, who is scheduling appointments out in the future. And the case could be, you know, there's an inside sales team and they're making appointments for the outside sales team, or there's a telemarketing company you're working with and they're making appointments for you, or maybe you're the sales operations crew and you're making appointments in the future. So the beauty of this is now on the main menu for summer 14 on Salesforce One, you're gonna have a selection for events. So it'll be really easy to get to your events. So let's say you're out and you've, they've scheduled four or five calls for you today. Um, rather than hunting through the account, looking for the event and trying to check in on an event, you just click on the event itself and our button to show up, check in and check out. And uh, you make the call, you check in, you finish with the call, you check out, end of story, simple as can be for the rep. Well, John, that sounds great. Do you mind if we take a look? Not at all. Let me show you how this works. If I'm a salesperson in the field and I want to check in, when I arrive at an account, I just click on the nearby account tab. That's going to bring up a map showing my location and my accounts. If I click on the account, I can then choose the link and that will bring up the account for me to check in on. Then I just have to click the check in button, confirm that I want to check in. My location is determined and it is saved to that file and I'm done. And as a sales manager, I can use the group calendar to see what uh, activities are happening in the field by just mousing over them. I can see who's checking in and where, and I can look at that information by the day, the week, or the month. Also, as a manager, I can use location analytics to plot the check-ins by the sequence and the number on a map, which allows me to better manage accounts, territories, and overall productivity in the field. That's awesome. You've made it pretty easy. Well, John, that was a great demo. I appreciate you doing that for us. 
So if someone wants to find out more about GPS Dashboard, what should they do? Well, a couple things. They can obviously go to the App Exchange and look us up there under GPS Dashboard and our application, of course, is check-in. Or they can come to our site, uh, gps-dashboard.com. We have a number of other videos there and some use cases that they might uh, find interesting as well. That sounds great. John, thanks again, and I hope to talk to you soon. Appreciate your help. I look forward to working with you. Bye for now. Bye now.